guys, welcome back to Cooking with Taylor and Stefan. So today I'm gonna to show you my take on the seafood paella. And what's interesting with the paella, to my understanding, is you can't combine the meat and the seafood. It has to be separate. So today I'm gonna to show you just the seafood. And I thought that was kind of a cool little fact. <laughs> Okay, so we're on to our next step. Our fish broth is just sitting there resting till we're ready to use it. And now we're gonna add all of our vegetables. Okay, so we have one whole purple onion that we're gonna saute. So we're gonna saute this first, and then next we're gonna go ahead and add, we have our peppers. You could use one whole, any color pepper. I used to mix the ones that we had in the garden, yellow and a green, and then the gypsy pepper as well. So I just did a good mix. So we just wanna let this saute medium high and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. All right, so we're turning up the heat a little bit. The onions are nice and cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and add our peppers in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw all those in there, saute those for a minute. And while that's going, I'm also adding some green onions from the garden as well. And then we're gonna add our garlic and our tomatoes. And then we're gonna let this cook and get just a nice broth. Okay, so we wanna add just a little bit of a sprinkle of salt, and you're gonna salt to taste. Okay, and I'm gonna add some thyme. You know what's great about this? To my understanding, this was just made in the fields when they were working, so it was whatever they had available. You know, now you have the exact ingredients that you can use. But I think with this, you could get creative with it. So like adding thyme in it, adding fresh green onions. We're gonna add some basil in too. And just using what you have in your garden or even what you have in your fridge as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic. So I put about five garlic cloves in there, all chopped up. We're gonna give that a quick stir. Okay, then we're gonna add our little pinch of paprika. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in now, just so it gets some nice flavor with all the vegetables. And then one of the most important parts of this is we're gonna add saffron. Okay, so some people put saffron in the water, they let the color come out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it first. Now, I'm gonna get a pinch and I'm gonna add it in here. And then whenever we put the broth in, I'm gonna add another pinch. So let's give this a stir. We're only using olive oil as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and add all of our tomatoes. So we have tomatoes from Stefan's garden. So I chopped up some of them. The rest, I'm throwing them straight in. The other option is using canned tomatoes or using two big tomatoes. If we need more, I'm just gonna throw in one can with this, but we're gonna see how this cooks down first. You can always add, but it's hard to take out. Okay, and for me, I want this to get nice and juicy. So I am gonna add about a good splash of wine, preferably white, but you can use red as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this, and in a few minutes, I'm gonna throw the wine in. All right, so we turned the heat up on this. It got nice and sauteed with the wine. Now we're gonna add some fresh basil in here, just to add more flavor. We're gonna add another sprinkle of just some salt give it a quick stir and now we're gonna add our one cup of rice now you could use the traditional rice for this I'm just using some regular rice that we have we're gonna give this a stir first and before we add our fish broth in here we are gonna first add some more saffron because that can saute for a minute it's okay so let's put a good pinch of our saffron in there Okay, and then next, we're gonna just go ahead and ladle about two cups worth of fish broth. Or if you wanna use vegetable broth, any kind of broth that you wanna use. But today we're gonna use the smoked fish. Okay, we're gonna turn this up more. Give this a stir. We're gonna put the lid on and let this rice cook. And then we're gonna put our mussels on next. Well, now we're almost ready to eat. So it's the rice is nice and cooked out. We have a little bit of more broth in there. Give this a quick stir. I already salted and tasted it. I've added just a little bit more salt. And now the last step is we're doing mussels. 
You could do any seafood that you want in here, really. You could add shrimp in here. But since we have the fish broth, I think mussels is good for today. So we're gonna line them up all nice. We're gonna close the lid, let this cook, and then we are ready to eat. All right, the mussels are all finished. Let's go ahead and plate this up. All right, so we're all done with our paella, as you can see. It's a super cute and good dish. I love that you can just use all the ingredients that you have, but let's give it a try. Mmm. So this is good. You can definitely taste all the seafood in it. Just make sure that you use a fresh seafood broth. That's all, make sure you're using a decent quality, but it's really good. I love the tomatoes, especially that we get to use Stefan's tomatoes from his garden. Well, let me know if you try this. Please subscribe, like, and share.